Hey, in this video I show you how to make a salami without a casing. Um, we call it bread salami in Germany. Literal translation is board salami. It is made on a board like this and uh, you can use any recipe. And I personally also use it uh, with the sausage meat, which is stuck in the sausage stuffer and then just uh, form it, put it on a board and then yeah, uh, salami, <laughs> I show you how to do it. Um, so first I'm using pork shoulder and some pork back fat. And on the spices I'm using salt and cure and paprika, dextrose and sugar, white pepper and some garlic powder. And as I said, you can use any recipe. Um, I just want you to show the method and then, yeah, you can use uh, every meat and spices you want. First, cut the meat into strips. Make sure they fit your meat grinder later on. And then get your spices ready and put the spices and the salt together. Mix everything well. And then you can add it to the meat and fat and mix it well make sure it's evenly coated and then put it into the freezer for one to two hours and then it's time to grind i'm using the medium perforated disc if you want a finer salami you can also use a finer one completely up to you same uh, you can also get a coarser one um, the medium one for me is ideal Grind it through once. And once you have your meat ground up, you can mix it well. Make sure um, that uh, it has a nice binding or five minutes. And yeah, then it's ready for the next step. Speaking about the next step, uh, get a wooden cutting board. It is important that it's uncoated, um, so nothing on it. Um, it shouldn't be too old. Uh, it shouldn't have like uh, big cuts or holes in it. Um, so yeah, make sure that it's clean, make sure that it's uncoated and uh, make sure that it uh, yeah is, is even and then we can uh, put it. So like this board, for example, that wouldn't be good um, because then we would get some mold probably on the salami later on. So yeah, fresh board ideally, uncoated, and uh, then we can use it. First step then is to form patties. Again, you can make them thicker, but um, like my ideal size is two centimeters thick like this, um, because then uh, again, it's easier to let it mature and to let it dry out. And um, the thicker you make it, the harder it will be. Same with the diameter of the salami. So yeah, just form your patties. Make sure they're evenly sized and then place them on the board and repeat this step with other sausage meat. Make sure that you have some space between the salamis. They should not touch each other. Okay, and now one important thing. Uh, perhaps you're thinking, okay, I can coat them. I have uh, uh, spices um, on the outside, uh, but please don't do this because if you now add the spices, um it they will get moist and then th there will be mold on top so don't do it i will show you later a way if you want to have for example a pepper coating uh, on your sal salami we will use some gelatin and then it will work but at this step don't add any spices um, or anything else what we need to do is um, we uh, need to cover it up and then let it sit at room temperature um, for about two days at about 20 degrees celsius 68 degrees fahrenheit and the important part is uh, that we cover them um, so nothing can get to them, any flies or anything else. Um, however, um, we don't want to do, use any plastic wrap because it needs to breathe. So we need some airflow going. And in order to do this, there are different methods. Um, don't use like a big towel or anything um, because it cannot breathe and it will uh, mold then. First thing would be a sieve. Um, however, as you can see, like with my three salamis now, it wouldn't fit. So um, yeah, if you do once or you have like a big sieve and that's completely an option. Um, however, what works for me is cheesecloth. Uh, I just um, built like something on the outside and then it can breathe like this 
and it doesn't look pretty but it works so um, yeah let it sit at room temperature for two days and then it's important that we turn them um, after 12 hours so yeah one thing humidity uh, don't worry about it as you can see 39 percent it's not that high um, but with this method uh, it works without um, having to do a deep dive on the humidity important part is that um, you turn them after 12 hours this will be very hard because they probably stuck to your board um, so yeah perhaps get a knife clean knife and get them off and just make sure that you turn them so they can uh, evenly dry out i'm using a spatula now and the the drier they get the firmer they will get and then it's easier also to do it by hand always make sure to wash your hands before because we don't want to introduce any mold and then repeat this every 12 hours so yeah turn them over three times in total okay and then after two days what i found helpful was to introduce chopsticks um, to get a better airflow or you can also put it on a grid so after the two days you either put it on a grid and put it then in a cooler room or you can put it like I did uh, on chopsticks and now we want to transfer it into a room where it's dark and where it's about 15 degrees celsius or lower so 59 degrees fahrenheit or lower yeah just put the salamis on the chopsticks um, again get the coverage up and then put it in a dark room with that temperature again humidity not that important and then also um, look at them from time to time and uh, this way you can store them now for a few weeks to let them dry out the amount uh, of time is completely up to you uh, for me this was now um, three weeks and now i'm showing you how to make a coating um, if you want them firmer you can also let them rest for uh, rest for longer but um, yeah for me three weeks is ideal i have uh, this pepper coating now and then i have some gelatin and now I'm using a brush to coat the dried up salami with the gelatin. And once it's coated, you can roll it in pepper or you can also use spices or uh, herbs, completely up to you. This one, for example, is with chili flakes. And yeah, there you have it. Uh, one pure one, one with chili flakes and one with marjoram. As you can see, the firmness, it's, it's still a bit light, but um, yeah, for me, that's what I want. Uh, if you want it firmer, just let it sit longer and uh, always uh, do the coating in the end because otherwise it will mold. Give it a taste test. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, cute sausages, I, <laughs> I love them, oh yeah. Uh, what can I say? It tastes amazing. It's so easy uh, you don't need any casing and it works in your kitchen and then in a dark room. Wow. Wow. I want more. Uh, it has this nice tangy salami taste. Wow. I love it. As always, the full recipe can be found below. Uh, if you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, there are weekly sausage videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.